All right, everybody, welcome back to the office for the cue of the day. So this one comes to us from Joy. And Joy asks, a, it's a pretty interesting question, uh, especially with what's going to happen in the next couple of months. She says, hey, Dan, watch your videos. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Uh, she said, you said that you are not a trader. That is very true. And uh, you hold your crypto assets. And I mostly just hold my cryptos as well. However, because I see it, it's a long-term investment. But with the U.S. election coming up, if you don't know, if you're not from the United States, we're about to have uh, our four-year election for the president of the United States. And that's going to happen in, in November. So we are in September. So September, October, November is going to happen. So there's a lot of volatility right now, which is usually what happens before an election. But uh, Joy says, do you think it's a good idea to just hold or take the profits for now and re-enter the market a few months after the election? I saw your video about exit strategies and it was very helpful, but wanted your opinion about this strategy during the election period as it might get volatile. I've only been in the crypto space for about four months, so I don't know how the US election will affect the market. I entered Bitcoin at 9,500, congratulations. Ethereum at 250, uh, Link at uh, $8, and Theta at 25 cents. Do you think it may be okay to just write out the ups and downs of the market, or do you think it may be better to exit with profits? Great question. So uh, the answer is, it really depends on, on who you're talking to. Um, if you are talking to a trader, they're always telling you to take profits. And I got to tell you, um, I got to I gotta tell you, I got to tell you, I got to tell you. Uh, it only makes sense at some point to take some profits just to make sure that you're not sitting on the sidelines going, man, I, I could have taken, you know, a couple hundred bucks out of here or a couple of thousand dollars, whatever it is. So if you want to take profits, take profits. Uh, that's not, there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. I mean, I took profits uh, for Chainlink because I knew it went up pretty high. thought it might come down a little bit. So much it did. So, but the next question really comes down to, uh, do I put things into stable coins uh, during the whole presidential election because, because it is so volatile? So the thing you have to understand is that uh, volatility is what we'd like to see here in the crypto market. Uh, We'd like to see crypto, I mean, well, I'd like to see uh, more of the um, volatility in the traditional space and in the, in the economy and in the traditional market because the more volatility we see over there, the more people get nervous and they look for safe haven assets or for alternative investments and they come to cryptocurrency. So I'd like to see that. However, uh, to answer your question about how's it going to affect as far as the presidential elections, I had to take a look at, uh, there was a Forbes article and it talked about how, let me pull this up. Here's how the stock market has performed before, during, and after presidential elections. And as you can see, uh, the growth of the dollar invested in the S&P 500, January 1926 to December 2019, uh, it's only gone up. Now there's been, there's been some dips after the election. You can see uh, between Clinton and Bush, there was a huge drop off and then Bush to Obama. Or you have to remember this was in uh, 2008 when there was a huge economic recession and the different uh, market collapse. So, that might not have been so much with the actual election itself, but what was going on with the overall economy. And then from Obama to Trump, um, this is where it gets kind of interesting because in the article it states, historically, volatility in the stock market is elevated in the months leading up to an election, which is right now. So right now is the perfect opportunity for volatility. And we can see it uh, because in the stock market, those people are losing their minds. Uh, they're like, oh my God, 3.5% or 4%, what are we going to do? We should start jumping off, off towers. Don't, don't do that. But, uh, I mean, they are freaking out over 4 5 6% losses. And like I always say, you know, if, if, if you think that's a bad day, in crypto, we just call it a Tuesday. So I don't know what you're whining about. That's just me. Anyhow, it goes on and says, beware of bold predictions. Recall the 2016 uh, election. So if you don't remember in 2016, or if you're not in the United States, uh, in 2016, uh, Hillary Clinton was pegged to beat the pants off of Donald Trump. And, of course, she lost. Uh, the uh, Electoral College and uh, Trump was put into office. So before or the night of the 2016 election, as more states began reporting uh, that a Trump, victim, a Trump victory was going to become likely, the stock market sank rapidly and the S&P 500 fell by more than 5% in pre-market trading, triggering the circuit breaker, which caused everything to shut down, which is pretty awesome. But what's, what's even more hilarious is that by the time uh, the, mar or the market closed the day after the election, uh, the index was up over 1%. But if you do a Google search for 2016 Trump win and the stock market returns, uh, the results that you're going to get from Google, it's going to talk about instant recession, the market tanking, the stock sinking. And of course, this is all published before November 8th, 2016, of course. Uh, so it, it was all doom and gloom because 
uh, you know, the this new president is going to take over. And guess what? Uh, the return, the average annual price return in 2019 was 14%. Uh, so the thing is, all about these different factors, you know, as far as like the presidential election, I don't know who's going to win. I don't think anybody does. I mean, that's just how it works. If I did know who, who would win, I would probably go back to Vegas and uh, put some money on the winner because you can do that in Vegas, but you can't. So the, the thing is, I wouldn't take money out because here's, here's a scenario that, that, that plays out in my mind. Um, you take your money out, you put in stable coins, right? And then whoever wins, then the stock market goes up for some reason. And they say, okay, we want that guy. And then the cryptocurrency market is like, oh, okay, well, you know, we're also gonna you know, follow suit and we also go up, everybody's happy. Well, the money that you put into stable coins, let's say Bitcoin was at 12,000, or actually, who knows, it could be at 9,000. Let's say it's at 9,000. And all of a sudden overnight, it goes up 10, to 10,000. Well, now you just lost a thousand bucks. I mean, essentially, that's, that's what happened to get back into the same positions that you did with Bitcoin. However, opposite is true. You could, you know, take everything out, put into stable coins, see a, see a massive pullback, and then, you know, uh, put it in. You're like, I'm a genius. Depends on if you're a trader or not. Again, it's all about who you ask. Me personally, I am going to, I do not care. I honestly don't care who wins. Uh, so wherever we go um, for, for, for this position, I don't care if it goes up, I don't care if it goes down. Just like today, I could care less about the market. I just sit back and I think to myself, man, I'm glad I'm not trading. I'm glad I'm not leverage trading. and I'm glad I don't have those positions that I have to do. Um, that's it. Now, am I perfect at this? No, I probably should take more profits at some point. I just don't uh, because I just let it sit. Uh, just, it's just my mentality, the way that I do things. Like I talked about yesterday when I invest in land, I just put money in land. And I just let it sit there. And then, you know, five, 10 years later, I come back and go, well, how much is it worth now? Oh, great. Made some money. And that's, that's pretty much it. Um, so for me, I'm just going to sit back, let it all, let it all uh, whatever happens, happens just like today. And then uh, we'll see what happens in one to three years. That's what I got. All right. Thanks so much for the question. Let's jump back. All right. Hope that answers some questions uh, for the final segment. Just want to let you know that um, for all my subscribers, I want to say thanks so much for joining up. If you don't know, there's a join now button on the bottom right there. It's a buck ninety nine. You don't get anything special. I just do random shout outs. So random shout outs for the day uh, for the new ones. Doug Lemley. Hello. Melissa Davis. Johnny Henderson. Joey Serena. Who else we got? Mark. That's a good one. <laughs> Dreamer, All Right Soft, my man. Barry Belasco and Amuse Web Design. He's helping me with the uh, actual website that I need to build, which uh, I'm actually starting on, starting on yesterday, actually. So we'll see how that goes. That'll be a free website for education so people can learn more about blockchain, cryptocurrency, digital assets. And I'll let everybody know when that is completed. So thanks a lot for sticking around. If you like these types of videos, there's gonna be two more that's gonna pop up on your left and right. I don't know which ones. YouTube kind of controls that, just like they control all the uh, crappy ads you might have seen. If you didn't like the ad that you saw and it was a scam, report it to YouTube. They'd love to hear from you. And uh, that's it for today. So thanks for sticking with me. I appreciate it. See you on the next one. Hopefully tomorrow is more of a green.